Welcome back, everyone, to the Brian Crombie Radio Hour on Saga 960. Well, that was an interesting discussion of horror films being filmed in Chatham, Kent. And so I thought it'd be really helpful to check in with the mayor of Chatham, Kent, Darren Kniff. Is that correct, uh, sir? Kniff? It's Darren Kniff. 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 Apologize, Kniff. Uh, he has served as the current mayor of Chatham, Kent since 2018. He's on his second term. He says that uh, Chatham, Kent is one of the fastest, if not the fastest growing communities in Canada. He's talking about it being a renaissance. Mayor, welcome to the show, sir. Uh, it's a privilege to be here this morning. So tell me, why is Chatham Kent on fire? Why is Chatham Kent on fire? There, that's Actually, really- given today's stuff about forest fires, I should change my language. Why is it in a in a resurgence, renaissance? Why is Chatham Kent growing? There's a lot of reasons. Uh, the I mean, there, one of the big reasons is we're the Florida of Canada. Our climate down here is warmer than anywhere else in Canada. We get more sunshine, uh, less snow, all those things. So if you're if you're moving from northern Ontario to southwestern Ontario, that's where we're located, right at the tip of the the province, that you experience uh, you start getting a lot closer to Florida weather, and so that in itself is an attraction. But there's so many more reasons. Our cost of living here, uh, you people look and say, "Wow, I can get a house here." A, a, a good house for a whole lot less than where I'm paying in a lot of their areas. Now and... I've been to I've been to London, I've been to Windsor, I've been to Leamington, I've been to Sarnia, I've been to Port Stanley, I've been to uh, to Grand Bend. I've never been to Chatham Kent. Where oh, is you, Chatham Kent? You've been to Chatham Kent. You've driven through it. The the, the 401 is there's about 75 kilometers of 401 going right through Chatham Kent. So yes, you've been to, if you've been to Windsor, unless you went through the states. You've been to Chatham Kent, so it, it's a, it's right in southwestern Ontario. So we had the we touched Leeming, Leamington is five minutes away. Uh, the we, it's twenty five hundred square kilometers we have here in Chatham Kent. It's a huge uh, municipality, known for primarily. Well, they, we there's a lot of the, we're the breadbasket of Canada. They're, they're farming here. We we grow nearly eighty different crops because of the climate here. The soil is amazing. So uh, you, we know farming, but we have a lot of industry here as well. And that's kind of when we talked about why is Chatham Kent growing? Lots of jobs here, too. I mean, in, in uh, right across the board, we're looking for people. So you got jobs, you got housing. And we talked about, you mentioned the renaissance, that I really look at uh, Chatham Kent as a renaissance, not only from a growth perspective, arts, culture, and recreation, that we're doing a lot of things here to increase that. People are recognizing it, that uh, we want public art, we want filming in chatham kent that's a key piece for us moving forward so i was shocked when i heard that you were sponsoring a big agency to promote filming in chatham kent tell me about that decision well the again it's part of that arts and culture renaissance with that well you know public arts one thing and putting all that up but the actual cultural part of of filming and uh, the theater and all those other things that's a big piece of it and i i've always uh, wanted to see something like this in Chatham Kent and so we, we this was actually dreamed up prior to covid and we said well really this is not a, probably a good time to roll things out like this uh, during covid so now that covid's over we've uh, we're rolling this out and uh, it's flick and it's film local in Chatham Kent flick film local in Chatham Kent and this is an agency or a program or what this is uh, sponsored by the municipality so we're we put that out and we're working hard. This is uh, we're just getting it started, and uh, we've done a lot of research and uh, what other communities are doing. And we said, you know what, we can do that. We can do it real well. So we're uh, we're knocking it off it, uh, to get started. And Daniel Turris is our uh, our first contestant. I'll call it for lack of a better word. There <laughs> now, Daniel Turris, who we just heard from, uh, is uh, filming a horror movie in a historic prison that is uh, right in the middle of the town i understand yes yeah the prison was built in the 1840s so he's he's in a pretty historic building and it's been there for well for 180 years and there's a lot of history in there and when you get in it it was actually a prison up until probably six seven years ago and it shut down and uh, it's a beautiful spot for a horror film what do you think about a horror film in your town? Well, it's uh, it's like any other film. I my daughter absolutely loves them. She sees them all. She watches them all the time. Now, I'm not a. I wasn't a big fan of horror films. I mean, I, I they're all right. 
But when I went and saw his uh, Daniel Tur's last film, I really liked it. And I, 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 I told him, that. I said, you know, I didn't know what to expect when I went and saw the last one. And after watching it, my gauge of how much I enjoyed is how many times did I look at my watch during the movie? Not once did I look. So that gets it gets a nine and a half out of ten for me if I didn't look at my didn't look at my watch, and it was an hour and forty minutes. So it was an amazing film. So I'm looking forward to this being equal or better than the last one. Now, some of these horror films uh, become cult classics, and people then want to come and and visit the place. I understand that the the storyline's got something to do with an inmate that is uh, in the bowels of the prison and uh, starts attacking young people in the, in the prison. Um, do you want to become a cult classic? Could you want people to come from uh, all around to Chatham Kent to visit this prison? Well, th- th- this is the start. I mean, they, we get, we can come visit the prison, but there's so many other opportunities to film here in Chatham Kent that with 2,500 square kilometers, we offer virtually anything that someone would need to do filming. You're absolutely right. We've been joined again by uh, the director and uh, and producer of the film, uh, Daniel. We've just been chatting with the mayor about his um, his excitement about your last film and about uh, filming in uh, in the prison. Uh, tell us uh, when do we think the filming is going to start? Uh, well, we are set to start filming mid September into mid October. Yeah, and and launch next year at some of the film festivals. Yeah, well, the, with our expected turnaround is once we go into production, uh, our post production should take about minimum three months to be market ready by February, and then by that point, we should be on the festival circuit for the year of twenty twenty four. Mayor, is there a walk on opportunity for the mayor to come in and save the day? Oh yeah, I, I'm sure there is somewhere that it, I, I I've always wanted to save the day. <laughs> Tell me if, if you could a little bit about this prison. Any famous inmates? Any uh, horrific things that have already happened there? Does it have a an interesting reputation? Well, yeah. There's uh, there's a lot of books on it. Uh, there's rumors that it's haunted, and uh, I know that uh, a lot of people have told me they've heard a lot of things in there. There's been uh, two hangings there actually, so uh, people have died there. For, and uh, it, it when you if you when you see inside there. You can understand why, you know, with 180 years history, there's got to be uh, some remnants of of some spirits kicking around there somewhere. The the hangings that it that's interesting. Is there a, is there a courtyard where that happened, or did it happen out front, or do you yeah. know? No, there's a courtyard. Uh, you can go out there, and uh, the the gallows have been have been long taken away, but uh, there's a little uh, outside gallow that are. Uh, a, a wall outside the prison and it, that happened within there. So, Well, this is interesting. Do you think that um, having a, a program uh, by a local community to, uh, to promote filming in your local community, do you think it'll actually help? Yes. Oh, very much so. The, the whole goal is to make it really easy to do filming here in Chatham Kent. So, I mean, you've got your costs so that, you know, you look and say, what's the cost of closing a road? Uh, all those things we have, we'll, are, will be cost competitive with any community, but it's going to be the people and the the willingness of the municipality to step up. We are going to work with the, with Daniel and whoever else wants to do filming here to make it real easy. Because when they're coming to town, they may not have connections. That's part of our role is to connect the the filmmakers with the people in the community and just make it real easy to make a, a great film. The provincial government and federal government have numerous different incentives, tax incentives, investment incentives, things like that. Do you help the local filmmakers uh, acquire some of those incentives? Well, certainly, if there's any opportunity, we're, we'll work with them to uh, link them with federal and provincial funding. Yep. And from a municipal perspective, we there's a lot of things we can do. You know, the road closures cost money, but we can help out there and a number of other things to do, that uh, help incentivize people to come film here. Mm-hmm. It sounds like a, a really fascinating economic development opportunity. Uh, does uh, you know, any of the the uh, AMO, the uh, the Association of Municipalities, or other organizations that you're part of, uh, you know, talk about these kinds of programs, or is this something unique to Chatham Kent? Uh, well, I, mean, I know other municipalities are doing various things, but it's not through AMO. So we, this is an initiative on our own, and looked and said this this makes a lot of sense for Chatham Kent and looking forward to to work with Daniel. It's been great so far, and uh, and I know it's going to get even better over the next uh, couple of months as we do the filming and and get an amazing product out there. He's going yeah. to Con next year to do uh, to 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 exhibit his film. Are you off to Con with him? 
I well, yeah, I may plan some vacation around there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the parties sound pretty good. Um, we're going to take a break for some messages and come back with some concluding comments about uh, filming a horror flick in an old historic prison in Chatham, Kent in just two minutes. Stay with us, everybody. Back in two. Welcome back, everyone, to the Brian Crumby Radio Hour on Saga 960. You know, every Friday I try to um, have a story about something unique, and I think this is pretty unique. Danielle uh, Therese is, uh, is, is filming a horror flick in uh, Chatham-Kent, down near Windsor in southwestern Ontario, and uh, we're joined by the mayor of uh, Chatham-Kent, who is telling us a little bit about um, an organization called Flick, which is uh, a promotion uh, that the city has, the municipality has, to try to promote um, filming in uh, Chatham Kent Mayor, is this something that's sustainable or is this just a one off, uh, you know, silly thing to do? No, no, this is not a silly thing to do. This is a we look to make this a long term viable thing to do in Chatham Kent to film. Uh, so, Film Local in Chatham Kent, a great acronym. We have an office right in our civic center, the Flick office. And right now, Daniel's working out of it and we're providing office. Uh, space for people that are doing stuff like this but our, ultimately our goal is to continue this for years to come to create a lot of full-time employment for people that want to do filming uh we want them to be located here uh, it's a great place to live it's a uh, you know you get, get anywhere in 15 minutes traffic jams are there's no such thing as traffic jams here and it, it's a great quality of life here and that we want people to locate here and do what they love to do and film and helpful that you've got this uh, historic prison that uh, is readily available for filming in. We got that, and we got so many other amazing facilities. A lot more, yeah. Daniel, tell us, uh, remind us um, the name of the film, um, a little bit of the topic, and when you're gonna when you're gonna launch. Sure. Uh, the name of the film right now is Fresh Meat, and it's a slasher horror film that's taking place in the heart of uh, Chatham Kent, located at that historic prison that we're talking about, uh, as well as of other surrounding areas. Because like the mayor said, when I came down here, it was just as like a first interest in that one location. I didn't realize there was an abundance of more to offer to the point where like even the mayor and I had a private tour with our guests on a bus to go check out everything that's available here. And it's like a filmmaker's dream. Fantastic. And when do you think you're gonna be uh, launching this? Uh, is it at con next year? So we, we're going to be market ready. So we're hopefully to get to the Berlin market and then have it uh, international uh, sales opportunities at the con film market, including other film festivals in between. But yeah, definitely those are the, the top ones. And then there's quite a few genre film festivals uh, throughout the States and the uh, UK that we'd like to uh, debut the film. And the current film, if we want to check it out, what it's what's its name and where could we pot potentially see it? The The one I previously made? Yes. Uh, that one's called Here for Blood, and as of right now, it is going to be screening on the big screen in London, England this month. I'm leaving on the 23rd to go check it out on the 25th, um, and uh, after that, uh, we'll have more updates on its public release. We have uh, in been negotiations with a major U.S. distribution company. As soon as that's been taken care of, that's going to be some major news to come, so I'm excited to let people know where and when they're going to actually be able to see it to the public. Mayor Darren Canna, thank you so much for joining us today. I just noticed uh, that you are, as you mentioned, the number one fastest growing city in Canada. And I love the source of this quote. It's from U-Haul. Why does oh. U-Haul know that you're the number one fastest growing city in Canada? That makes sense, well, actually. Well, it does. Uh, the, I mean, U-Haul has stats, to say the, the number of trucks going in versus the number of trucks going out. And uh, so the the final destination into Chatham Kent with U hauls is their, is their number one uh, spot. So if U haul doesn't know it, who doesn't? That's true. I and, used to U haul to move in here recently. And you mentioned uh, that it's cheaper. The average price of a house is four hundred seventy five thousand bucks. Yeah, the uh, it's it's a great place, and the the beauty is it's it's cheaper, but the quality of life. The, it's the you get a 10 minute drive. I, I, every time I go to GTA area and I sit in traffic for an hour, I'm thinking, how does anybody do that? And the beauty is you can come down here. There's job, huge job opportunities. You can work from home for a job in Toronto 
and you get the climate, which is the climate is about five degrees warmer than Toronto. So you start thinking, well, geez, it's not much different. But snow, I shoveled my snow my laneway once last year. So the Florida, if, the Florida of Canada. If you don't like snow, Chatham Kent's the place to be in Canada. Cool. And uh, sir, if uh, people want to check out Flick, uh, how do they do that? Is there a, uh, a website they should be going to? Yes, we have a website up uh, very shortly. It's a, it's in its final stages, and we're getting to roll it out in the next uh, probably week. So just go to if you go to the uh, Chatham Kent website, uh, it'll be there. Uh, Mayor of uh, Chatham Kent, uh, Darren Kenneth, thank you so much for uh, joining us, and Daniel Torres, filmmaker that's going to be filming Fresh Meat in uh, the Chatham Kent Historic Prison uh, for release next year. Good luck. I, you know, it sounds pretty exciting. And if you have some filming in the courtyard of Chatham Kent next year, uh, where the gallows used to stand, invite me. I'd like to come. Oh, no. Oh, we'll just hope you can get out of there. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. That's our show for today, everyone. That's a great thing to think about. Going to a going to a slasher film in the courtyard of an old historic prison and not being able to get out. Mayor, Daniel, thanks so much. That's our show for today, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day, everyone.